Is Alexander Texier one of the fastest players now coming into the NHL, and could he be a potential Calder Trophy finalist? Let's talk about it next. Welcome back to Hockey Scouting Report. So glad you're here. So glad you're watching. Alexander Texier, what a story. Not many players coming from France as professional hockey players, but Alexander Texier is now joining the group as only the third current French player in the league. Antoine Roussel is right now the best French player in the NHL. In fact, the highest scoring French player of all time with 172 points. The only other player currently in the league is pierre Edouard Belvemere, 65 points. And so Texier really has the chance to be the best French player of all time to play in the NHL. Certainly that has a possibility there. At just 19 years old, he was the 22nd highest scoring player for Liga this year. 55 games played for Kalpa, 14 goals, 27 assists, 41 points. Well, before we get into this more, if you're interested in this video, hit that thumbs up. Of course, subscribe for more content. Feel free to check out my Patreon as well. It'll be in the description if you'd like to support the channel. And also check out our Twitter and podcast. So let's get right into it. So Texier is a left winger, six foot one ninety four. 45th overall selection in 2017, Maxime Comtois went 50th, and when Texier went 45th, he was someone that's been on my radar for quite a while as someone who is a French player. We don't see them getting drafted so high, and it was definitely a question mark to his game, what can he do long term? Texier has blistering speed. That's always been known. The speed is just getting better and better, but what other intangibles did he bring to his game? It was very unknown at that point, playing in the French League during his draft year, 40 games played. 10 goals, 9 points, or 10 goals, 9 assists for 19 points. Also, 69 penalty minutes. And what we know about the French League, similar to the EIHL in England, is that it's a very physical league. And so the 69 penalty minutes, as a 17-year-old, we did expect something like that. Shows how physical Texier can be. But in the playoffs, he really proved that he's not just a physical player. He's an offensive player. 12 games played, 5 goals, 5 assists, 10 points. And this got him a chance to play in Liga for Cal Pa the past two seasons. In that draft list, one year, 53 games played, 13 goals, 9 assists, 22 points. And he doubled that this year to 41 points, 14 goals, 27 assists. So as a 19-year-old, like I said, the 22nd highest scorer for Liga, he was the top points producer on the team, second in goals. The second closest was E2 Losternan. Of course, Losternan was the a uh, very high selection second round for the Carolina Hurricanes in 2017 as a center, 15 goals, 36 points. And so Texier, 14 goals, but 41 points, definitely producing well. Losterden had 79 penalty minutes. And then the next highest score was Yanni Iconen, of course, 58th overall selection in 2017. Only played 13 games this year, 5 goals, 5 assists, 10 points. Some injury issues there. And so Texier really got to play with a couple of very talented young players in Lostrinen and Iconen, but really the team revolved around Texier this season. World uh, Cup for France, seven games played, one goal, two assists, three points. And this allowed him to come over to the AHL, play for the Lake Erie Monsters, seven games played, five goals, two assists, seven points. There really was no issue in terms of transitioning to the smaller ice, playing at a higher tempo in the AHL, four penalty minutes plus six. It garnished him two regular season playoff uh, regular season games in the NHL with one goal, and then he had eight playoff games for the NHL, two goals, one assist, three points in those eight games. Very productive. One was a power play goal against Tampa. And what Texier brings throughout all of this, what we've seen is strong international play overall. The draft plus one year he played seven games there at the World Championships, three assists. This year, one goal, two assists, three points for France. And France isn't the most productive team on that World Championship stage. So to be able to play at the level that he has, certainly a good showing. But what he brings is blistering speed. He is going to be one of the fastest players in the Columbus system, if not the fastest. And to be able to play with someone like Pierre-Luc Dubois down the middle, this is going to be an elite level duo right here, extremely fast. And then you had the sniper, Emil Bemstrom, joining the team. I just did a scouting report video on Emil Bemstrom two days ago. Feel free to check that out. Yesterday's was Ryan Paling. Feel free to check that out as well. So Texier, really elite level speed. He's an amazing skater with unbelievable acceleration. 
and he has very good stick handling. Combining that, he's extremely light on his skates, and he has a very quick wrist shot. He also is very good at puck handling, and he has very good hockey IQ. So when you combine his ability to be a stick handler and a puck handler, along with amazing speed and skating, as well as unbelievable acceleration, there's really nothing that he can't do. Throw in the fact that he's so light on his skates, very good balance, and really it makes a lot of sense that Texier can be a top six level player. He also has good agility, very good vision, and very solid hockey IQ. So everything that he brings is these offensive elite aspects. There's really no mention of a transition game, a two-way game, a defensive game, a physical game. Certainly can be physical, but the game revolves around his speed. And so when we're talking comparisons, a lot of fast players come up. Of course, uh, Athenasiou comes up, Matt Duchesne comes up, not as a center, but someone with that speed. But I think the best comparison we can make is Jonathan Drouin. What a good comparison to make there. But if we look first, what is his potential? I think he's a top six left wing talent, and he's going to put up about 20 goals, 60 points. Definitely a very strong playmaker. We're talking 40 assists, maybe 45, but I think the goals will come there as well. Going to be a very strong power play threat. Not as the sniper, that's what Bemstrom is there for, and of course Atkinson as well. But Texier and Pierre Dubois are going to be adding the playmaking on that line and then throwing Rowenski or Jones on the back end. And so I think when we're looking at the left wings in the Columbus system, Gustav Nyquist now coming in, expected to be the top line with Atkinson Dubois, now Texier, Nick Foligno, and then Oliver Bajorkstrand, I'm proposing will shift to the left wing. He can do both. And I think when we're allowing that right wing to develop, Josh Anderson, Cam Atkinson, and Mo Bemstrom, it's really just going to force Oliver Bajorkstrand to shift. I think Bajorkstrand will go to that third left wing spot playing with Bemstrom at the beginning. Eventually, I think that will be Josh Anderson, given his size. And so I think Nyquist, Texier, Bjorkstrand is going to be that left wing. But I think long-term, Texier is that top left wing. Potentially, Bemstrom might be that top right wing. And so 20 goals, 60 points is that potential. Jonathan Drouin, left wing, six foot two oh three, So very similar size. This year in Montreal, 81 games played, 18 goals, 35 assists, 53 points. This really is what we could see from someone like Texier. Similar amount of goals and assists. Definitely, that's the expectation. Drew Ann was expected to be much higher, of course, in juniors. Halifax, draft year, 49 games, played 41 goals, 105 points. The following year, got to play with uh, Ehlers. Of course, the first year was McKinnon. 46 games, played 29 goals, 108 points. With the assists in both years, 64-79. So Drew Ann is definitely an elite-level playmaker in the league. The year before this year, 77 games played, 13 goals, 33 assists, 46 points. Very similar, I think, in terms of statistical performance. We're definitely going to be seeing at minimum 30 assists from Texie, I think, next season as a rookie. I think that's definitely possible. I think goals, really 12, is going to be that minimum as a rookie. I don't think he's going to have necessarily 20 goals right out the bat like someone like Andrei Sveksnikov, or 22 like Brady Kachuk. But given that, as a 19-year-old, did put up 14 this year in Liga, the year before did put up 13, there is some consistency there, so we could see 15 goals as a rookie, certainly possible. So really 40 to 45 points we're going to see this year. Being able to play with Bemstrom might be a very solid group there. We could see Texier fight for a top-five spot in the Calder. I think really it's going to come down to potentially Byram gets his name in there, but really it's going to be Kapokako as well as Jack Hughes. Maxim Comtois might also challenge, as well as Kale McCarr, Quinn Hughes. It'd be tough for Texier to get in there, might have an outside chance, depending how high he scores. But what Jonathan Drouin brings is very good skating, elite-level playmaking, like I said. He's an amazing passer. He's one of the best passers in the game. Mikko Koivu has often been considered a very strong passer from behind, able to shoot behind himself very well. Uh, McDavid, very similarly, as well as William Carlson. These are the ones that come to my mind very quickly when we talk about players that are, have that ability to pass behind themselves. And really, Jonathan Drouin is a great one at that. Texier going to really work well with that, I think, as well. Jonathan Drouin, very mobile, extremely quick, excellent acceleration and vision. His game is built around the vision, the acceleration, the hands, the hockey IQ, and the decision-making. So an unbelievably cerebral player, and when you transition the cerebral player, also adding in elite playmaking, this allows someone who can really be anywhere from 35 to 50 assists. There isn't much goal-scoring ability in terms of the 
uh, intangibles that he brings. Of course, the excellent hands is there, but really there isn't much of a mention of his shot. Similar to Texier, there isn't much of a mention of his shot. Very quick wrist shot, but overall we don't talk about the accuracy, the power of it too much. We really focus on Texier's playmaking ability. And so I think long term, we're going to be seeing Drouin really be a 40 to 50 assist player. We'll see the same from Texier. And if you look at this year's lines, there's really two options that I see Texier playing in. Now on the power play, it's going to be Texier, Bemstrom, Atkinson, Dubois, and then Jones or Rowenski. You could throw in Josh Anderson, but I think you might want him on that second power play unit with someone like Bjorkstrom. So when it comes down to the five on five, it's either going to be Texier centered by Dubois or Wenberg. I don't see him centered by anyone else. I don't think Felino is going to center him. And I don't think Felino playing with Texier makes sense. Because, of course, both can be left wings, but Felino definitely getting older. Texier is unbelievably fast. He needs to play with someone who can snipe, given how fast he is. And that means it has to be Atkinson or Bemstrom. Texier can set up players very well, especially given that speed. So get someone who can shoot from the point. Atkinson and Bemstrom are that. But you also want someone that can funnel pucks to Texier from the outside, allowing the game to transition easily down the middle. So you want someone with certainly size down the middle. That comes down to Dubois and Wenberg. Texier, given how his game is built around speed, not physicality, he needs to be a top six player. So all this comes down to meaning that the line has to be Texier, Dubois, Atkinson, or Texier, Wenberg, Bemstrom. And really, whichever one he's not fitting into, Nyquist will go to the other one. I don't see Atkinson leaving Dubois. Definitely going to be a fit there. I don't see Bemstrom leaving Wenberg. And so it really comes down to, is Texier the top left wing, or is it Nyquist? And I think initially it will be Nyquist, but eventually Texier will take that role. So definitely this season as a rookie, we're going to see Nyquist have that top line. We're going to see Texier put up probably 35 assists, 15 goals, 50 points. So thank you guys for watching. Was a bit of a shorter video on Texier. Comment below your thoughts. Do you think Texier will be an effective rookie this year? What do you think he can bring to the Columbus Blue Jackets system? And do you think there's a very solid core building in Columbus with Texier, with Bemstrom, Foodie, as well as Andrew P? Comment below your thoughts on that. And whatever video you would like to see next, let me know in the comments. Make sure to hit that subscribe with the notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video.